Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Jetta GLI Autobahn. This particular one is pure gray on the exterior. It has that new updated Titan black leather interior. Uh, we'll see that in a minute. This also has the black package on it, the GLI Autobahn black package. It also features these new uh, accented red accents right here on the front air intakes here. Or right around those there uh, now you do also have honeycomb design on the bottom of the grill here with this new aggressive more open front end here and you do also have the red line the, the GLI red line sandwiched in between the two chrome bars here to go across they go into the LED headlights the LED running lights turn signals are Ill, still incandescent it has the golf R brakes on the front the larger brakes there red calipers black wheels they call it dark gray but it looks black to me and then you have your two large exhaust dual exhaust back here at the back it also has the new gli font right here red trimmed out in chrome and the new volkswagen logo right here in the center now this car just came off the truck just got pdi oh and also the black spoiler on the back here on the trunk lid uh this one just came off the truck it is sold but i wanted to do a video of it before it rolled out so um that way it actually exists there's also going to be black mirror caps right here and then you have your gli badge right here on the quarter panel there's a look at the black roof there and the black glass for the sunroof let's take a look inside and before we climb inside here we'll look at the door inset right here you now have this contrast stitching into race stitching the red stitch right here in the door panel you also have this kind of wood grain looking red and black uh, pattern here on this uh, piece here in the door, this trim piece here. Contrast stitching down here, this red contrast stitching or race stitching right here on the arm pad. And then of course your one touch up, one touch down on your windows, the silver tips on the window buttons, the window lock, heated mirrors, and then your trunk release here. As we look at these seats here, visually on camera this is gonna look a little different. These seats are actually black on top there's a layer underneath where it's red so it's like a a dual color thing going on but on camera here it looks more like a reddish or wine color seat um but there it's actually perforated it's leather it's black on top with red inside of that this is very similar this is the same kind of seat design that the golf r has with the black on top and the blue under underlying you do still have the red stitch right here in the bolster up the side behind the shoulders and into the headrest there very nice a manual adjust headrest there and as we peek in the car here let's take a look that continues in the back seats as well they're still stitched on the two outboard seats for the headrest and one a manual adjust one there we'll get to the back seat in a minute you do get a memory seat set up right here three seat memory lumbar support right here or if you're, uh, power lumbar forward back up and down right here and then seat back adjust here that's the same and as we climb in here, you get the digital cockpit, but the font looks a little different here. So it looks like they might have did a, a, a subtle change here. Um, now you do still get the leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel. You get the GLI badge right down here at the base, just like you do in the GTI. And the red right here, just like in the GTI, that splash of piano black right here. Capacitive touch on a steering wheel, just like GTI, ID4, and Tiguan SER line and SEL R line. There's a look at that digital cockpit again. I can change that. I can change that to speed. That's what most people will go with. Uh, I do have the view button here so I can change between dial screen, uh, the wide screen, and the crop screen, just like in the other cars. I can also take navigation. Let's see here, right? We may not have navigation. Let's see. That's right. GLI doesn't have navigation. Sorry about that. I got excited for a second there. Panel shifters right here and here. The car is not equipped with navigation. You see that right there? So we'll go back to the radio here. We'll turn that down and go back to Sirius XM. Okay, so you do have um, the digital cockpit just like before. The font looks a little different, a little more like what it did in the Ardeon. Um, temperature gauge is going to be over here on the left. Fuel gauge is over here on the right adjustable steering wheel just like before pull out push in raise it lower it uh, lock it where you need it um, again the paddle shifters here and here 
Uh, you do also have, um, for your safety features, you're gonna have lane assist. I'm gonna turn that on. Uh, adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control. You also have blind spot monitor, uh, rear traffic alert, and then front assist as well. Now, this car is equipped with IQ drive that gives you a lot more stuff. That gives you travel assist, which is right here. Also, your lane assist. You can do your following distance and uh, you can change um, uh, following distance on the fly here. You don't have to do that sitting. Um, you add lane assist or travel assist right here and then your cruise control buttons up here. You do also have still the AM FM satellite radio with gesture control. I can wave my hand in front of that. If I ever get it to do it on camera, it's a miracle. It doesn't want, there it goes. Yay, I got it. I got it to work. Okay, so you have App Connect, uh, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and MirrorLink right here on the system. And you can do those wirelessly. A wireless charger is also part of this. So you've got the wireless charger down here, this pad right here. You can charge your phone in the case right here. Um, you do also have um, two USB-C connections here that are also backlit, so um, you can see those at night. Um, if you're wire, if you're uh, hooking your phone up old school rather than a wireless charging, maybe your phone's not uh, wireless capable. Um, you do also have the new shifter right here. It's also trimmed out in red. This is the DSG. It's a backlit shifter, so you can see park up here on top, reverse, neutral, drive, and sport. Um, and then you do also have, for the backup camera, you don't get trajectory steering, but you got the static camera here where the red, the red line signifies where your bumper is, the green line signifies straight back. It's still an HD camera. Very nice. Now you do also have Harman, I'm sorry, not Harman Kardon, that is the GTI. Beats Audio for your uh, premium audio in this car. You have the Beats logo in the window, or the uh, A pillar over here and also over here. So uh, you're gonna have that quick release subwoofer in the trunk. So you got that going for you there. You do also get ambient lighting. So in this car, if you go to ambient lighting, take it off of automatic, put it on manual, you got your 10 colors that you can change. Pink, purple, blue, green, teal. I kind of like the teal. I also like purple, um, but you get you get the change. Actually, we'll do purple. There you go. Reminds me of Pin Prince. Rest in peace. <laughs> uh, not Pence. Not Mike Pence. That's a different person. Totally different person. I'm talking about Prince. Uh, climate control right here. Heated seats on either side. Ventilated seats on either side. So you've got those. And then you've got your climate control here. I don't really want the ventilated seats on, so I'll turn that off. Uh, but uh, your fan speed is right here. You can also touch the menu button. That's going to bring up a touchscreen version of that where I can adjust the fan speed right here and get lots of fingerprints on the screen. I can also adjust my temperature right here, sync them up, uh, or do them separately. Um, I do also have, um, let's see here, um, my vent button right here, which I can bring up stuff on demand here. Now, one thing that I am surprised about, there is no option for a heated steering wheel in the GLI. We get it in GTI, but we don't get it in GLI. And we also get it in Golf R. Um, I think that might be a little bit of a miss, but that probably is helping keep the cost down a little bit uh, as this one's up just a little bit over what the previous ones were. Uh, your e-brake is right here. You just lift up on it to activate that, then put your foot on the brake and push down the release. You do also have your auto start stop shut off right here. Your drive modes right here. So you've got eco, comfort, normal, sport, and custom. So you can touch this button here to change them, or you can get lots of fingerprints on the screen right here and do it up here. Um, now you can also do custom. You can adjust things here. So your DCC, you can do normal com comfort or sport. Steering, you can do normal or sport. Front differential lock, you can do normal or sport. The drivetrain, you can do eco, normal, or sport. Engine sound. You can do comfort, normal, sport, or eco. And then your ACC, uh, this is your, re your comfort, normal, sport, or eco again. And then climate control, you can do normal or eco. And then, of course, reset. Um, now, you do also have, uh, I'll go back to radio here. Uh, let's see here. Traction control or ESC, you can turn that off. So it shows you right here, traction control is activated. And then it's deactivated there. So you do have a button for that. 
um cup holders right here it looks like they deepened them a little bit they're more of a stadium seat kind of thing where this one's higher than this one here so you can have a cup here it's up higher than this one coin storage right here if you want to use it for that and then in the armrest here oh that's that down there we go you have another usb-c connection here so you have three up front you have this guy for storage right here and here's a closer look at that seat if you look closely you'll see it's actually black on top and red behind it underneath and that perforation there so it's like a layered look but it gives you a, a real cool visual characteristic here especially on camera where it looks like uh burgundy uh this seat here is a manual seat you cannot raise or lower it but you can adjust the seat back right here by lifting up on that guy and uh, i've got the seat back adjusted differently and then i have the manual seat pull here this seat is still heated and ventilated even though it's only a manual seat there's a look at the uh, glove box there, your manuals right there, and then you also have uh, the tire warranty and what have you right there. There's a look at your adjustable seat belt right there. Manual adjust on the headrest, you just push in on this button here and raise or lower. Up above here, well actually first here, let's look at, look at the uh, uh, dashboard here. It's nice and flat, except for of course by the instrument cluster here. Great visibility out the front. Um, vanity mirror on each side with an incandescent bulb there. I wish they would update those to uh, LED. Those will probably come in soon. They're phasing out LED at the uh, non-LED lights, pretty much. Sunglass storage right here, and then you do have your sun, uh, your um, carnet buttons here. So information, roadside assistance, and SOS or emergency services. There's a look at your panoramic sunroof. It has a tilt function, so I can tilt up. I can also open that up. Now, unlike GTI and uh, Golf R, they didn't do the capacitive touch for any of these controls here. It's still the old school stuff from the previous GTI and GLI there. So there's a look at the open sunroof there, pop-up windscreen right there. I'll leave that open for a second. This one just has a traditional mirror here on the back. And uh, let's take a look at the back seat. There's a look at those uh, wheels. They're black wheels. Uh, they call them dark gray. But uh, we'll take a look at this. This one comes in with IQ drive. This one comes in at 34055. The extras on this one include for 395, the pure gray color. That paint is actually a premium. The GLI black package is 595, which includes the 18 inch black, or now they're calling them black wheels. Uh, the order guide always said they were a dark gray, but they're black. Black alloy wheels, uh, black roof, side mirror caps, and trunk lid spoiler. Uh, then also the monster mats come in at 275 for this bringing you to that 34,055 This was an ordered car. So make sure you get an order in for your car If you're looking for one if you're waiting for one to show up at the dealership. Good luck with that There's a look at the thin bezel on that sunroof super thin very nice like the curved look there Will pan out so you can see that Very nice Now let's take a look at that back seat The back seat is also ventilated like that or, or perforated where you got that layered look there okay now i've climbed in here as i'm wearing my ku socks rock chalk jayhawk okay no magazine pocket right here but you do get one over here on the passenger side there's your armrest right there you still get the kickstand where you can raise it up and and pull out the kickstand and have the arm the arm rest raised a little bit there's a look through to the front instrument cluster right there center console armrest and shifter right there and also a look up at the sunroof from the back seat now the thing about the gli i wish they would add or even jetta in general add vents here but you have vents under the seat on either side but no vents here uh and you do not get heated seats in the back seat here like you do in the gti autobahn now so there's a difference there seats right here seat hookups car seat hookups are here and also back here and then the fold down armrest right here squishy yet firm there's no pass through here but you do have a manually adjusted headrest in the middle and then the sewn ones on the outside with that race stitching up here and also over the headrest i do have ge overall general comfort back here i've got about four inches of knee space behind this sculpted seat here the seat backs are definitely sculpted so uh that helps with leg room there again is a look up front very nice now let's take a look at the trunk black spoiler right there on the trunk lid very nice as we open this up here in the trunk here 
lots of space here. You can actually do these seat pulls here and the seats will fold flat. You do have your, your uh, the embroidered floor mats were already installed. You also get these here. Uh, these are the, the monster mats with the GLI logo on them. You also get this adapter here to take your USB-C back to a regular, more traditional uh, USB if you have the older cables. And then you do get cargo blocks right here. And of course, here's the front license plate. We leave that off on purpose. And underneath the floor down here, if I can get to it here, there is your spare tire, your quick release, Beats Audio, subwoofer right there, and jack apparatus is all right there. Up above here, you do have a handhold here and a handhold here. This is designed so you don't touch the paint and you don't get road salt or road grime on your that, that accumulates on the trunk when you're driving in sloppy weather. Uh, you don't get fingerprints on there and you don't scratch the paint or anything like that. This car does come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. That includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, Bomberito St. Peter's, there are two Bomberitos in St. Louis. Make sure you get the right one. And I'm at Bomberito St. Peter's. We will give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are covered. Now that is a local deal only though. If you're if you're from out of town, you're gonna to have to get that third one here at our dealership. You'd have to travel back to get that. But I will give you, if you fly in and drive out, I'm giving you a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. That's on every new Volkswagen that I sell, 10 years, 200,000 miles. Doesn't matter if you fly in or drive in, you'll get that. I made it sound like you had to fly in. But uh, you get a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in a car like this one, if you're interested in ordering one, I recommend ordering. That way you make sure you get your car the way you want it. You can give me a call at 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.